In this question, we have two point masses attached to a light rigid beam of length L, which is pivoted at one end. The first has mass little m and is a distance x from the fixed end. The second has mass big M and is the total length of the rod L from the fixed end. Considering the rod at an angle of theta to the vertical, the only forces on the rod which do not act through the pivot are the weights of the masses, remembering that the rod is light. We can then use Newton's second law for angular motion, taking an axis perpendicular to the plane of the paper through the pivot. The total torque about this axis is equal to the moment of inertia of the system times by the angular acceleration, theta double dot. The total torque is minus mgx sine theta minus big M G L sine theta. And our moment of inertia is mx squared plus ml squared, since this is the sum of the moments of inertia of each point mass. Using our small angle approximation, sine theta is approximately equal to theta. We can rewrite this in the form theta double dot equals minus omega squared theta. We can use this to give us an expression for omega and, finally, use t equals 2 pi over omega to find the time period.